all right today I'm gonna do a quick reference video more for me than uh, you guys but anyway this is the uh, Eichel 730 modulator 50 watt plate tube modulator this one has been modified with a very well published Steve WB 3 HUZ high fidelity audio mods plus I put a few uh, high fidelity audio mods of my own plus it has a whole lot of uh, extra high voltage capacitance <clears throat> put a lot of uh, electrolytic capacitors in it over capacitor it it still has about one volt of ripple but it's too much hi-fi for me this thing is pretty much flat from about 60 Hertz to 30 kilohertz and that's way too wideband I don't want to be anywhere close to that wideband so I'm gonna probably uh, modify it some more and take out many of the uh, hi-fi audio mods we got it keyed down going into a resistor for uh, kinda of like a dummy load so we don't fry the uh, plate transformer in it got a signal coming from the uh, fluke uh, signal generator and right now I got one kilohertz signal going into it and then I'm got about a uh, hundred millivolts going into the ICO I'm going in through a uh, balance transformer that I wired into the ICO that little round can there is a balance to unbalanced transformer that's my uh, balance connection there I got the signal generator going in it and I bypassed the uh, first audio tube there you see the socket anyway and the audio clipper there they're both bypass and out of that transformer it's going straight into the uh, third audio tube which is under that big cap there and uh, I thought it need more voltage then but it's still uh, got good output at 100 200 millivolts going into it so I'll probably change that spot or tap it down a little bit so anyway for my reference I got uh, about 10 volts peak to peak on the sc digital scope with one kilohertz going in and I'm gonna turn the generator up to 20 kilohertz and let the scope catch that signal at 20 kilohertz it's still at nine and a half volts peak to peak and let's do 25 kilohertz 25 kilohertz we're down to uh, four and a half volts so that's about a negative 3 DB point and let's see what it does at uh, 30 kilohertz we still at two and a quarter volts so that'd be about a minus 6 DB I really don't want this thing going up to 30 kilohertz so I'm gonna have to uh, do a little modding of my own on it I probably don't want it going past uh, say about five kilohertz so I'm gonna have to do some high frequency uh, limiting on it and let's see what it does on the low side I'm gonna start at about uh, let's say 150 Hertz we'll change the scope acquire a signal and we got 9.7 volts so we're still pretty flat at uh, 150 Hertz let's do a hundred Hertz still 9.6 volts up top there let's try 60 Hertz down to 9.1 starting to distort a little bit and let's do 40 40 Hertz we're getting more distorted 
40 hertz 8.6 way too low for me I don't want to go that low but let's see 30 hertz still at 7 volts getting a pretty distorted 20 hertz still at 6 volts we're still not uh, 3 dB down at 20 hertz so let's go a little lower let's try uh, 18 hertz 18 hertz we're down to about 5 volts a little over 5 so that's about the uh, minus 3 dB point 18 hertz I don't want to go nowhere near that low let's try 16 hertz there we go at 16 hertz we're about to still at the uh, minus 3 14 hertz 3.5 volts let's try 12 hertz 2.5 volts so the 12 hertz would be about the uh, minus 6 distorted signal there okay that's gonna be it for this reference demo before I start playing with the frequency response of this thing ICO 730 plate modulator trying to build me a nice high quality audio uh, transmitter when it's all said and done